This is CSS 103 Fundamental of Networking Demonstration 1. Today we'll be doing Wide Area Network Demonstration on Cisco Packet Tracer. If you do not understand how to do it, you can always rewatch this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave a like, comment down below. Let's get into it. So over here, it says arrange your device in packet tracer. Remember, most router only can route two LANs together. So you have three LANs on the previous slides, as you can see over here, for accounting, sales, and customer. How do you design your WAN for it? First, you of course, you need to do your subnet plan. After you do your subnet plan, you will have these addresses to use for your devices, including your router. There is more IP addresses that you might need for your router, aka the public IP addresses for your router. Right now, your subnet plan is only for your private. For your public, it will be different. However, you do not have to worry so much about it. We can assign random IP addresses as long as you remember what IP addresses that you assign to each of the router. In CCNA exam, you might need to use serial DTE. However, serial DTE cables only limit up to two. MBPS. That's why serial DTE is used in this case because the router only have two interface, remember? Two interface for fast internet and one uh, and few interface, I think two interface or one interface for serial DTE cables. However, when you are using Cisco 2911, you have three fast internet ports. So we can use this instead for configuration today. The first thing you're going to do is go to your Cisco packet tracer and grab some devices. So we're going to have our switch over here, switch 0, switch 1, and switch 2. This switch for the first one will be for accounting, switch over here is for customer, this is for sales. Okay, back to the slides. For accounting, it's uh, 171.18.0.0 network over here. Sales is this network over here and customer is this network over here. It is best practice for you to name your switch accordingly so you know which network that switch is for. 171.18.0.0 slash 18 over here. It is uh, 171.18.128.0 slash 18. 171.18.64.0 slash 18. And you can always use this up here as a note. Slash 18 is 255.255.192.0. Now you're going to get your PC for the thing. PC over here, PC over here, and PC over here. You can of course move it nearer, nearer to each other if that's what you want. So, in the 171.18.0.0, your PC will be 171.18.0.2 because the dot one is design, uh, designed for your router. Oopsie. And PC1 for this network, 171.18.128.2 and 171.18.64.2. Connect the device to the switch using crossover cable, fast ethernet, fast ethernet, I'm going to put it on 2 Same as this one Fast Ethernet, Fast Ethernet 2 You need to remember your cabling, alright? Fast Ethernet 2 So all of this All devices uh, All PC To switch FE0 to FE2 F1, F0, F1, F0. Yeah, let's just say F0. Now, for you to get your and devices, this week specifically, your routers need to use the Cisco 2911 routers. So, Cisco 2911 over here. Right, first one, second one, and the third one. So, the first router is for accounting, and this one is for Customers, you can drag like this, put it away a bit, 
to near drag this put it away a bit it's too near and this one is for sales the next thing you're going to take note is when you connect your switch to the router pass it one two zero zero okay pass it one two zero zero get your note uh switch fe1 to router fe0 same thing as this just want to make sure pass internet one gigabyte internet zero zero pass internet one gigabit internet zero zero it is important because now we're trying to make sure that the pc can ping the router so click the router right here go to the config gigabit internet zero zero remember the IP addresses of the router is the first address because that's how we designed previously. So 171.18.0.1 subnet mask, which is 255.255.192.0. And do not forget to click the on button right here. So if you want to type it manually inside CLI or command line interface, it is shown below over here how to do it manually which you can control up here but today we are not doing it manually so we do it like that that's the first one close it go to the pc go to desktop ip configuration so 171.18.0.2 255.255.192 and the default gateway is of course the Router address, which is 171.18.0.1. Okay? That's the first part. When you go to... Click X over here. Go to command prompt. And you try to ping. 171.18.0.1. It should look something like that. Now let's repeat it with the rest of the device to make sure that it can ping the router first before you do other configuration. I'm gonna do this part a bit faster. One, two, five, five, two, five, five, one, nine, two. Turn it on. Close here. Go here. Desktop. IP configuration. One seven one dot eighteen dot one two eight dot two. Two five five two five five one nine two. This one will be one seven one dot eighteen dot one two eight dot one. Alright, now you're going to have your node over here, the router, uh, the router FE0 is equal to 171.18.0.1 slash 18. Over here, FE0 equal to 171.18.128.1 slash 18. This will be useful in a bit. Don't worry about it yet. FE0 171.18.64.1. Now you have this for your router interface. All right. Now, for you to connect your router to the another router. Normally, people use serial DTE, which is this cable right here, the red cable. However, to make things faster, because serial DTE is only 2 Mbps, we are going to use the crossover cable fast Ethernet. <laughs> As long as any interface of the routers is usable, you can use the interface for a uh, connection most of the time. So, using the crossover cable, you're going to connect the FE1 of accounting over here, the 1, to the FE1, the Gigabyte Internet GE1, yeah, I guess of router on the customer this one need to be in the same ip address 
I mean, same network address. What I mean by that is FE1. You're going to give this interface an IP address. As long as it's the same uh, network address as the router 2 FE1, it should be okay. In my case, I'm going to just put 10, 10, 11 .1 slash 24. 255, 255, 255.0. Turn it on. Let's get that one away first. And then router 2, F, uh, GE1, FE1, 10.10.11.1. .10 Start that mess. 255.255.255.0. Turn it on. So after you know that you already put the fast internet thing in right now, you add more over here. FE1 equal to one uh, no one zero dot one zero the eleven dot one slash twenty four and over here as well fe one equal to ten dot ten dot eleven dot two slash twenty four the next step is for you to do your static routing okay the static routing need to be on a uh, two side two side way before it can be used properly. How to do static routing, you go to router 0 over here, click static, and then the network over here is asking which network you're trying to go to. From accounting, right here, you're trying to go to the customer's network. The customer's network, which is the network of 171.18.128.0, the mass is 255.255.192.0 And the next hope is The port on the router 2 Which is 10.10.11.2 And then you click add Okay After that You go to the router 2 from the customer right here Go to the static routing you want to go back to the accounting network, which is 171.18.0.0, 255.255.192.0, and then the next hope, which is the FE1 of router 0 accounting, 10.10.11.1. Click add. Now, two side have the static routing. So you can go to the computer, right? Go to command prompt, and ping 171.18.0.2 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. now it works it might need a little bit of time before the connection is established so that's one part done how about the cell switch now going to the cell switch you're going to connect the router 2 from the accounting on fe Two, aka the gigabit internet two, on the second part of this one. All right, now we're going to say FE two, FE one is equal to off, and this one FE two is off. Okay, FE two is equal to, it need to be in different network compared to the customer's network. So this one will be 10.10.12.1 no, .2 slash 24. So you can make this one FE2 equal to 10.10.12.1 slash 24. Alright. Now you get more and more right here. So you go back here. GE2, FE2, same thing. Click on. And put the IP address 10.10.12.1 255 255 Okay, over here Number 2 Because number 1 is off Number 2 Number 2 to number 2 Okay, so you don't get confused Click on And then put 10.10.12.2 10 Now to do the routing, go static, 
from router, from sales, you need to go to accounting. What are you going to do? You're going to put the network address of 171.18.0.0, which is the network address of accounting. The mass is 255.255.192.0. The next hope is the FE2 over here, which is 10.10.12.1. Go back to accounting, static route. You're going to go to the network of sales, which is 171.18.64.0, 255.255.192.0, and then the FE2 address of sales, 10.10.12.2. Now this one, want to go to this one? What should we do? Alright, since this accounting is already connected to customer and accounting is already connected to sales, if sales want to connect to customer, of course you can put another uh you know another cable right here for redundancy, or you can just go through accounting to reach the customer's network. So you can go here, static again, you want to go to the network of 128. So 171.18.128.0. The mass is 255.255.192.0. And then you can go through the FE2 of accounting. Alright, because that is the only one that connected with you. So, 10.10.12.1. Alright. Add this. And then, go over here. Do the same thing. Go to the... Uh, rip. No, no, static, 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 sorry. So, customers want to go to the 64 network. So, 171.18.64.0. 255.255.192.0. And the hope is the FE1 of the, the FE1 of this accounting router. FE1 of the accounting router, which is 10.10.11.1. So, PC2, comment prompt, you can ping the customer switch, PC, which is 171.118.128.2. Wait for it. There you go. So, that's it for the demonstration on how to connect three different branches of uh, subnet together using wide area network and fast ethernet cables. See you all next time. Bye.